take off my wrist strap. Wii Sports is like the only fucking Wii game I don't have with the box and everything. It's irritating. Alright. SpongeBob movie time, boys. We're finally doing it. I'm finally doing it. I'm actually gonna fucking play the SpongeBob movie game. When I get a PSP, I'll play the SpongeBob movie game. PSP. Oh shit, wrong controller. Give me the one with batteries on it, please. There we go. Alright, let me use my sticky, broken fucking GameCube controller to play this. I'm like halfway through the game on actual GameCube. I always preferred to play it on like emulator though, because I beat it on emulator. I can't get through the menus as fast because there's a bunch of fucking soda spill on here. The Y button's fucked. Hold on. A lot of shit on this, on this controller's fucked. This controller in fucking general is fucked. Yeah, I don't- don't autosave. I don't know why autosave is like automatically set to no. Wouldn't you want autosave? By the way, this is not the correct aspect ratio. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Um, fun fact, you don't actually need the disc to play this game. This is okay. I forgot this is the fucking GameCube. I forgot that this was the GameCube. Yeah, with the PlayStation 2 version, you could easily swap it out. By the way, I actually like, greatly fucking hate this game. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is literally like one of the worst fucking games on the GameCube. Right next to fucking Battle for Bikini Bottom. Not Battle for Bikini Bottom. Right next to uh, fucking. Uh, what the fuck was it? Double Dash. I fucking hate Double Dash. I hate it so much I don't even fucking own it. But my grandma does. Oh yeah, SpongeBob can't fucking stomp in this game. Which is a pretty big disadvantage. Literally, Patrick's the best character to use in this game, and I find that hilarious. Because SpongeBob can't do shit. I'm actually planning on uh, uh, buying Elibits, because it's like one of my favorite fucking Wii games. You just call me a whore. <laughs> Alright. 
Stop rocking. Jesus. I hate my, how my Wiimotes rock. Oh yeah, I don't have my fucking ground pound move yet. That's later in the game. I wonder if I can activate my fucking... My controller actually might have been fixed since it fucking got soda spilled on it. You guys wanna know how my game controller got soda spill on it? Literally, um, I had a- oops. Um, I have this ladder right next to my desk. And, um, it knocked over, like, my fucking drink. And my drawer was open, because I was grabbing something. And, yeah, it's fucking annoying. This, that fucking ladder that's right next to my desk is a fucking death sentence for drinks. Because, literally, it has two clips. Like, it has two little clamps. That, you know, is supposed to go on the side of a bunk bed. The thing is, though, they're so fucking far out that, like, it hits anything. Oh, I, I hate early drunk Spongebob. Wah! Ugh! Ugh! Can somebody make, uh, ugh, but with fucking Spongebob movie sound effects? Um, you guys are gonna have you guys are gonna actually have to wait like a good little bit before you get um the Sal Sterling um jokes and lost media explained. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. It's not in the road. How do I do that? Oh, with the Y button, of course. The one fucking button that's super sticky. <clears throat> Should I play Luigi's Mansion? I own it. Fuck this, I actually want to play a game I'm in the mood for. Yeah, get rid of my save file. Casually just erasing my own save file. Don't fucking need it. I want to play a game that's actually fucking good. Like a game that's actually fucking tolerable and playable. Don't worry, guys. I, I say. Yes, it is. My B buttons. This entire controller is off. Oh shit! It's all the way back to the Wii menu. <clears throat> I want to play a game that's actually fucking tolerable. <sighs> Starts gaming hard.
just comes. It just fucking comes everywhere. <laughs> just, 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 just. Sorry, guys. It's, it's just gaming too hard. It's just like you open the front door and just a giant fucking ocean full of cum, like, just comes out. It's like you wonder what the fuck happens. Like, sure, guys, I was gaming too hard. I was playing Lou Gigi's Megan. Lou Gigi's Megan. I don't know what language this is. I think this is the French version. I don't even think Luigi's Mansion has a French version. Dude, hold on. Is there actually a Luigi's Mansion French? I'm actually really curious. If there is, I'll fucking buy it. I don't think you guys know how obsessed I am with French games. Hold on. Shut up, please. Please. Please don't exit out of my fucking recording software. Thank you. Hold on. Luigi's Mansion French version. Luigi's Mansion French version. Okay, Google, you fucking suck. There's a 3DS version, I'll fucking buy it. Even though I fucking hate the 3DS version of Luigi's Mansion. I just looked up 3DS, goddamn. French soda? Okay, there is a French version of the third game. What about on the GameCube, though? Thank you for the news articles. Why the fuck am I in the news section? Uh, 3DS. Wait, controversy in Luigi's Mansion? Oh. I thought it said controversy. It says conversary. AKA music room. I thought it said controversy. I thought there was, like, controversy over a fucking ghost playing the saxophone. Uh. So, the European version has a French option? No, the fuck it doesn't. Does it? I think only the 3DS and the third game have French versions. Because I don't... I don't think there is a French version of the GameCube one. Because there's literally... Every GameCube game only has, like, two fucking languages, and that's English or Japanese. If it doesn't have a Japanese version, then it has a French, German, and that's it. Then it just has a French version, that's it. How much is Luigi's Mansion French? Wait... I don't think the 3DS game has a French version either. Fucking might though. It might. No, it doesn't. All right. Um, I actually remember seeing this review for Pikmin 2 on Amazon and they're like why is there a faint circle around the middle like they like whenever I put it whenever I put up the game disc to the light I see a faint circle in the middle of it and it pissed me off so much and it was like oh I bet this game doesn't even fucking run and it's like every fucking GameCube game has that like, every GameCube game has a fucking faint circle around the middle. I think... Hold on. I'm gonna check one thing real quick. 
Because I know GameCube games have it, but do normal fucking discs have a faint circle around the middle? Hold on. Uh, fuck it. Give me the SpongeBob movie. Not the GameCube movie. Every disc has a faint circle around the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. But, like, you never see it on any other disc because, you know, the disc art. Except for one special occasion, and that's the GameCube. Where if you actually do put a GameCube game to the light, you will see, like, a really faint circle. Like, you have to point, like, the back side to the light, but you do see, like, a faint circle around, like, the middle of it. It's easily seen with GameCube games, but because, um, the print is actually on the disc, not, not, like... Not like basically a piece of paper on the disc. So that's why it's super easy to see the faint circle around the disc. And But that fucking guy pissed me off because like, oh, I've never seen a GameCube game with it. It's like, yes the fuck you have. It's just this special occasion you put it up. He didn't even fucking test it before he reviewed it. That's the thing that pissed me off the most. Like, to review something, you don't base it on looks. You base it on if it fucking works. Like, you could tell that motherfucker only had Wii games and not no fucking GameCube games. Yeah. Like, say you bought a phone, right? And it's a fucking really goddamn good iPhone 5, right? Like, I'm gonna say iPhone 5 because iPhone 5s are better than the actual fucking iPhones now. But, like, say you bought an iPhone 5, right? And it has... For example, I don't think this version of the iPhone 5 even fucking exists, but it has like 100 gigabytes, right? Say you bought an iPhone 5 with 100 gigabytes, right? Would you review it on the fucking size? It's like, oh, the screen is ever so slightly. If you put it under a microscope, you can see a very tiny ass crack in it. So I'm giving this a zero out of fucking 10. Don't ask what the fuck I did. And go! Shit, I don't want to train. No, get me out of here. Luigi, but he has no clue what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> but yeah, I really fucking hate that guy. Oh, it has a faint line, so I bet it doesn't even work. It's like, don't bet. Fucking do it. Can I hit them all? Alright, this is the last test. You ready? I bet I can hit them all. Here they come. Damn! God damn it. So close, though. He's, he's just disappointed in us. It's like fucking Luigi. He can't do shit. Uh, let's save because I don't actually feel like playing any games right now. I thought I wanted to play a video game, but I actually don't. Hey guys, want to see something really funny? So if we turn this. <laughs> oh, it's straight up just turned off the sound. Hold on. Which one's video? I think yellow's video. We can make crazy pasta happen if we're lucky. Whoa. Why'd the sound go out? I don't think the video should be linked to the sound. If we have this just loose enough. <laughs> Guys, I think my Luigi game is haunted.
Guys, I think my Luigi game's haunted. Oh, oh, Luigi game of haunted. See, my Luigi game's haunted. If I hit the table, it actually like, shakes it just enough. Oh, oh, oh. Haunted Luigi. Oh, Luigi game haunted. My Luigi game's haunted, see? Whoa. This is a dangerous thing. Don't do this. You'll fuck up your video cord. This is a really fun thing to do. Because the PlayStation 2 is worst about this. If it was, like, plugged into the TV. If if that thing was ever so slightly, un, like, unplugged from the PlayStation 2, the video, fucking video out, that shit will fucking be spooky as hell. See, Luigi's haunted. If we're lucky enough, we can get to a point where it does it consistently. There we go. I think I got it. My Luigi game's haunted, guys. Oh, it turned off. It'll come back. See? Whoa! This is how you cheat in Luigi's Mansion. You turn on bright mode. I think this is my fucking video cord, like, about to give up. Oh, shit. It was actually still on. See if I can enable it. Did you see the Luigi? Ah. I'm not even touching it. Luigi. Luigi's haunted. Ah! I love it when it does the blue. That blue is really fucking cool. I'm literally just resting my finger on it. Hold on, what if I tap it with, like, I don't know, its needle? button. Oh. There's no game. Footage is missing, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's still video. Not as much as it is, though. Do I not get the funny? Okay, god damn it. It's not funny. This is what it looks like all the way plugged in. It's like super fucking dark. I wish something really fucking cool happened when I did this. But no. Like, sometimes it'll go up and down. Sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's if it fucking feels like it that day. Come on. We haunted. Luigi. You just gotta complete the circuit. 
Oops, it's actually all the way unplugged now. There we go. Oh, yeah. Guys, did you know my copy of Luigi's Mansion is actually haunted? See? See, guys, I have proof. Luigi's haunting my goddamn GameCube. Oh. See, I told you, Luigi's haunting my GameCube. Aha! This is Luigi.exe. Luigi.exe, Toad. Ah, ah, ah. Unlock is haunted. Ah! Haunted.